welcome back to Barack's Kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to show you a very beautiful and a simple way of how to make a homemade organic garlic paste. Uh, I, I personally like to make my own garlic paste uh, because uh, I don't consume uh, the, the garlic paste and the ginger paste mix the stuff that is uh, sold in the market because uh, because of the durability that those companies that they produce that they add the sweating acid or the dried lemon stuff and that so that can stay durable but the thing is a little hint a little catch in a chef recipe is that when you mix little bit of spices and stuff and you add things in that, that can really change the entire flavor of your meal. So that's why I never use the, the aftermarket garlic paste. I would like to use my own garlic paste. And how to make that garlic paste is very simple. I'll show you step by step today. All we need to have is peeled garlic here and our blender, some water and oil. Very simple. So what we're gonna do right now is We'll add some garlic. I mean, you can add any amount you want, and you can just store them at home rather than having the uh, aftermarket garlic and then keep that bottle in the refrigerator. You can just keep this one in the refrigerator. So, what I do is I'm gonna add some oil in that. Uh, with adding oil, what it does it do is it won't let the garlic go dark, it will stay fresh, and it doesn't bring any changes or any. Uh, bad thing to the garlic flavor as well. Uh, we're gonna add some water in that. Some people use vinegar. I don't uh, recommend that because adding vinegar is gonna, whenever you wanna use your garlic paste in some food that you don't need to have that sour flavor in that, then I do recommend that. So I would use water. As far as it has uh, oil in that, it's not gonna go bad. All you have to do is the simple method. That's pretty much, and you can see uh, you have the fresh. Uh, you can look at the color of the garlic paste. It's fresh white garlic, and you can use that uh, with marination or cooking or anything, and it will never go bad. So all you need to have is a container with a little lid, and just pour it in that, and keep it in the refrigerator, and that'll be great. So making the garlic paste very simple very useful do not add any vinegar or any other kind of acids in that for the flavor or durability very simple add some oil so not it, it, it wouldn't turn black or dark and some water to make it a little bit soft and that's pretty much see you guys next time with the next video please don't forget to like subscribe uh, to, to subscribe the channel and turn on the notification and like the video please leave your comments basically this video was made based on your comments that how to give that good flavor um, to our chops and the chicken chops and stuff so what i use personally is this type of garlic paste i hope you guys enjoy that and please uh, stay tuned for the next recipes have a blessed day